Hey, it's Courtney from Touch and Trim, and I'm so excited to take you on a tour of my home today. But before we head inside, I want to share a little bit about our exterior. Less than a year ago, our home was a dark brick. We decided to paint it with Ramabio Lime Wash, and I cannot tell you what a difference it made. We also painted the shutters and doors in Evergreen Fog by Sherwin-Williams, and then the siding and trim and front entry is all alabaster by Sherwin-Williams. But let's go ahead and head on inside and start the tour of the interior. Welcome to our entry. It's not a very big space, but has plenty of personality. The walls are a muted sage green called Contended by Sherwin-Williams. And I really like how it plays off the warmth in the gold mirror for a nice contrast. The mirror is from Facebook Marketplace. And you'll notice that throughout my home, a lot of the things are from Facebook Marketplace. I'm a very thrifty shopper and I love finding unique stuff that brings character like this Italian crystal wall sconce. That one was a really cool piece that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I also like to use plates on the walls and over here I have all my silver plates. It's a great way to fill wall space or just balance out a wall. Now on to the formal living room. This room I've had a lot of fun designing because I haven't had to be as cautious about being child friendly since it's not our main living space. So I was able to get the mirrored coffee table, which really helps bring some elegance to the space. I added fringe on the sofa, and that is the Althea Citron pillow by Lee Jofa. On the wall is the Asiatic pheasant china. And this is an antique pastry table from Germany with a marble top. These are art prints from Italy. We try to bring back art from everywhere we travel. So the hope is to eventually have a full wall so we can remember all the fun times. And over here, this is the Sound of Music art piece. I actually just found that on Facebook Marketplace. And this mirror is from Craigslist. I painted the interior gray. It was a really dark beige, so you couldn't see the gold detail as much. So I would prefer it now. I think it turned out really pretty. And then we'll pop into my office real quick. It's not completed yet, but it's a nice little spot to try to get some work done. And now on to family room. So this space has probably transformed the most. When we first moved in, all the walls were really dark wood. So we painted them all with alabaster by Sherwin Williams, whitewashed the brick fireplace, and updated the floors if it was a brown carpet. So those changes really helped brighten up the space and make it feel a lot more welcoming. And it's a rare occasion that you don't step on a toy. We have usually had toys throughout, but I've gotten really good at finding um, opportunities to hide them. So here I made this slip cover so you can throw toys under. That's been a huge lifesaver. The sofa and blue chairs over here are from Universal Furniture and they're actually brand new. We are super excited about. They're extremely comfortable, but the best part is they are spill proof. So that is kind of a necessity when you have toddler boys. I'm very excited about that. And the wall art are Etsy prints that I downloaded and had printed at Office Depot. So super affordable option for wall decor, especially for like a large wall. I have a huge wall here that I've kind of been working on ideas of how to fill. But this is really where we spend a lot of our time. This is where movie nights are happening, game nights, 
Over here you have our TV. It's the Frameless Art TV by Samsung. The dining room also doubles as our breakfast nook, so we use it quite often. Uh, the, the floors were also updated in the vinyl plank, and the curtains, I actually just added, they're a Dupioni silk, and I sewed on the French pleats for a really elegant look. Over here, this Cerber cabinet is by Furniture Classics, and the mirror is actually an Italian um, antique that was at a beautiful estate someone had just bought um, and they were changing things out. It wasn't their style, so I looked out. On the walls in here, you're gonna see the light blue Asiatic pheasant china. Now we're gonna breeze past the laundry room to get to the garden bathroom. This is the only bathroom we've renovated so far. As marble shower with brass fixtures, Schumacher floral wallpaper, the marble floor, and then there's the vanity. So that's it for the downstairs. Now we're going to head upstairs and I'm going to share the primary bedroom, primary bathroom, and the guest bedroom. So let's go. Here is the primary bedroom. And this one has taken a while to finish up just because of all the DIY projects I've tried to tackle. One of which is this canopy bed. It actually came in a dark bronze and I painted it with a gold leaf rub and buff. It really helps soften the look and I love how it turned out. The bench is a um, Schumacher fabric by reupholstered along with the Schumacher pillows that I sewed. And the nightstands are vintage Thomasville, those I found on Cherish, and I painted and still plan on trimming out those drawers with a gold leaf. The lamps are Visual Comfort, which were a lucky Facebook Marketplace find. Then over here in the corner, I create a little makeup vanity, and you'll see why in a minute when you see my bathroom. It's pretty small, which has made this quite the necessity. But the room itself is quite big. As you'll see here, we have dormer windows, this large chandelier. This is the Aiden Gray beaded chandelier, which I love. And a little seating area over here. Uh, this is where a lot of time the boys will be wrestling and hanging out. It's actually proved to be a fun little spot. Now onto the bathroom. It is not very big, but we did make some affordable changes that really helped update the space, like painting the vanity. That was a dark wood, so I painted that and it really helped make the space feel a little bit bigger. And then we added some sconces as Regina Andrews and new mirrors from Ballard's, new faucets, and then a couple personal touches like monogram towels, art, really helped to bring some personality to the space. Here is our guest room. So this room has been a lot of fun. I'm basically creating my childhood dream room. So yeah, it's kind of fit for a princess. The furniture is front gate. And then the mirrors are actually a vintage Thomasville that I painted on each side. And I built the bed balance and curtains out of this Ballard's bedding. And you have the Dupioni silk behind the bed as well. The crystal chandelier is Crystorama. So pretty. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on the tour and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to stop by Touch and Trim and say hello.